Welcome, this is the energy vibration um, lazing for the Libra Sun Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Um, this is the first week of December 2017. The week is a week of and water zodiac energy. The zodiac energy is fire. I want to say thank you for your likes, shares. Thank you so much, you Librans. Thank you for your support, your likes, and shares. Um, this week is a week of the lovers, which is an emotional week, but a good week. You begin the week with the energy of the sun and you have the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles and you have the page of love. So this is a wonderful, positive week for you guys. You have the seven of pentacles. So you're protecting yourself on Tuesday. You have the 10 of pentacles. Okay. You liberals. Okay. So I'm putting on my glasses really to see this. And it is the world in the beginning of the week, the 10 of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the page of cups, the ace of pentacles, wheel of fortune and the emperor. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is such a positive week for you, Libran. So let's, um, let's see because you guys have the ace of uh, the eight of swords in reverse you guys have the eight of swords in reverse so whatever the situation that you weren't seeing you're seeing it positive and i am going to be looking to see what else is happening for you liberals in this week because um this is going to be wonderful for you liberals so let's see what is happening for you guys you have the energy of the world and the princess of wands you have the ten of pentacles and the eight of cup eight of cups is moving away so whatever the situation is you left it and you're receiving you have the energy of judgment with a seven of wands you have the hermit coming in a major arcana um you have the star with the haze of pentacles you liberals, you rock this week. You have the four of swords, which you need to rest. The wheel of fortune is coming in this week. You have a good situation that is happening and you have the queen of pentacles. Okay. The queen of pentacles and the eight of swords. So whatever that you were dealing with, um, you liberals, um, you're finally seeing something clear. So you liberals, you're finally seeing something clear. And you, and this has to do with whoever you are out there that has to deal with someone who is the queen of pentacles. This queen of pentacles could be a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn over the age of 40. So if you know, you weren't seeing a situation about the queen of pentacles, you're finally understanding and seeing something clear about this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles can be um a taurus a virgo or a capricorn okay so wow okay all righty let's go in your reading let's first see what is happening because you have so many major arcana that is working out for you guys you have the energy of the hermit oh my god and okay so we have a wonderful um situation that is happening you have the energy of the world um judgment is coming in there's going to be a lot of judgment on friday you have the star with the ace of pentacles so whatever is happening um for you liberals whatever that has been happening, you know, there are good things coming in. The energy of the world comes in for you liberals. I keep on doing this because I forget that I have, I can show you the energy of the cards. Okay. So let's look at the layout of the cards. On Monday, the world, the energy of the world and this energy of the world, whoever is this Prince of Wands, some of you have been working with the energy of uh, someone who is between the ages of 20 and 40. This is an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarians. You have the energy of the world coming out. You know, whatever this is, I mean, you know, whoever this person is, is bringing you the energy of the world. It's bringing an end to a situation and good new situation in your life. 
be careful if you screwed over someone to get whatever this energy of the world is coming you did do really yeah, not everyone is like that but be careful what you did because okay on Tuesday you have another energy of um, the heart you have the ten of Pentacles on Tuesday so I am I, I, I'm sorry to say this but for some people and not all of you I'm getting as if you sold out the Queen of Pentacles I, 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 you know, I'm sorry, but that's what it's as if you sold out the queen of pentacles, this money that you're receiving for whatever information and whatever you do against the queen of pentacles is not going to last long because here it is. You're going to lose it. Okay. So be aware of it because I'm telling you something about earth sign people. If they're nice and kind to you and you try to do something against them, it's going to hit you. And you have the seven of wands. You're trying to protect yourself. There's a judgment because it's as if you try to do something and not all of you. Okay. So let me, let me, um, just go to the week. So the crowning of the week is seven of pentacles. You're trying to protect yourself from something. There is a judgment call. That means you either realize something. It's as if you were trying to, um, work someone over. Uh, for some people, not for all. For some people, it could be good news coming in. It could be um, you, you You were protecting yourself from something. Good news is coming in. For some people, is that you tried to work over someone and it didn't work. Okay? They they found out who you were. Um, On Thursday, a good energy. You have the Ace of Cups. This is wonderful. This energy of the Ace of Cups comes in and you found the love. It's as if you finally, because the Hermit came to show you, um, to bring a light to yourself and who you are. It's as if, you know, on Thursday, the Ace of Cups comes so that you start loving yourself and you start understanding something. It's as if you're inner wisdom and guidance show you something and you're understanding something the ace of cups is new love coming in your life so on thursday new love is going to come in your life on friday you have the ace of pentacles whatever is happening with you aquarius um liberance it's something because you have the ace of pentacles with a star and trust me your financial situation is going to be good again um you know it's a positive week on Saturday, you have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the energy of the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Sword. And the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is good things. It's about to come your way. And, you know, after the resting period, good things is about to come your way. After the resting period, a lot of good things is about to come your way. So that is good for you, Liberants. Um, on Sunday, you have the energy of um, working together and you're working together to make something happen and you have the support of the major arcana and this is um, the emperor. This is an Aries. This could be someone who's an Aries, okay? Or it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, but you're working together with this person to make something happen for yourself okay so this you know it's a positive reading except from my 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 thing about the ten of pentacles a loss it's as if you know if i look at it the prince of one whoever this prince of ones is is someone who is an aries a leo or a sagittarius and you have a loss because of this person and there is a judgment call that is coming in and you're looking at yourself. Um, you're looking at yourself. Uh, you're looking for your inner wisdom and guidance. And by doing that, the energy of the star comes out. It's time for you to rest. And then you're going to start to connect with other people to work for the forbitterment. And, whatever way you look at this reading because if we we we, we work it from this and whoever the sprints of ones is it's going to help you to bring the world to you and he's going to help you to bring money in your life but you're going to lose it because 
whatever you're doing with this um, Prince of Pentacles, and you know, this is a time where I need to ask some question. Who is this Prince of Wands? He's going to bring you the world, but you're going to lose it. So you, you better be aware of this. Who is this Prince of Wands? And what is this all about? He is bringing balance to you. What is the loss of this Eight of Cups? The okay, Eight of Cups is, you know, a loss, but yet still you're gaining, you know, you need to have inner strength because it's, you know, the loss that is happening to you, you need to have inner strength because the money is there. You just need to go. It's as if, you know, for the people who just sit down and wonder, you know, what the hell, you know, what should I do? And that sort of a thing. What it is saying is that whatever this eight of cups, whatever you're walking away from, whatever you're walking away from, because it's a loss, as you're walking away from something, the, pen, the ten of pentacles is going to come in. You need to find the inner strength and power, and this knight of wands is going to help you. Um, you are trying to protect yourself, and a judgment call is going to come in, which is going to bring you information. Judgment is always information coming to you. Judgment call is information coming to you. New love is coming in, and here it is. This Whoever this person is coming in your life on Thursday is the love of your life. It could be your soulmate or your twin flame. Whoever it is, this person that is coming in your life could be, um, you know, by, you know, listening to your intuition and guide. This new love that is coming in on Thursday by listening to yourself is your twin flame or soulmate. This has no question. There is absolutely no question about this ace of pentacles and you are being the star and success is here because I'm not sure if you can see this card, but and the you know you're bringing stability in your life this is good so whatever you weren't seeing clearly about this this um person who's a taurus a virgo or a capricorn you are going to find clarity in this week because whatever is happening a lot of things it's as if they gave you luck it's as if they gave you understanding it's as if they gave you luck so they let you go because you could be you know, hung up on this queen of uh, pentacles because it can be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Maybe you really like this person there. You have been hung up on this person and this person cut you loose. They let you loose. And by cutting you loose and letting you loose, um, you are finding your way and, you know, success is coming to you in um, different forms. You're meeting the love of your life because if you still stay hung up, with this queen of pentacles, she, he or she was, and, and it is a woman, so um, it can affect women and men, okay? Whatever the situation was, if she cuts you loose, because she, I think she came in your life for certain times, and then she let you go. She cut you loose because uh, um, she needed to teach you a lesson, and whatever that lesson was, she cut you loose, and then there you are. Um, the four of sword and the wheel of fortune is a karmatic situation because a lot of arguments and things will be happening. A lot of arguments and things will be happening. Whatever the situation is, there's going to be a lot of arguments and things that are happening. So you need to be aware of this situation. Um, for a lot of people who are working, um, there is going to be, uh, you're going to be having conflicts with your supervisor. Um, conflicts with your supervisor or boss is coming in. So you liberants, um, on Sunday, there's going to be a lot of conflicts or it doesn't have to happen Sunday. It could happen on Wednesday or Thursday or Tuesday. But there's a lot of conflict that is coming in with your supervisor or boss. So be aware of this. And I'm saying also to you, um, I want to say to... Um, whoever you are out there and uh, the queen of pentacles you know step away from you and uh, walk away from you it is for a reason because uh, um you know um sometimes people realize that um you know 
they can see who you are, especially these Queen of Pentacles. These people can see, they can read people. They're Earth sign people. You're an Air sign, okay? Whatever that was happening with this Queen of Pentacles, she wasn't trusting you, okay? Whoever you are, the Queen of Pentacles, because um, you don't get the energy vibration of the earth sign people to trust you that easily okay sometimes they will trust you and sometimes they realize that i'm not trusting you because they count every mistake you make whenever you go over the third one and especially if it's something that was you know very important they expect you know you to not really you know support them or have their back and you didn't do it they start counting if someone who is an earth sign look at you and said, I'm not really trusting you or they don't show you that they trust you, they don't trust you. And this is exactly what happened. And that's why she had to cut you loose. Okay. So on Wednesday, the seven, you're trying to protect yourself and information is going to come at you. Um, Thursday is going to be a wonderful day for love, for love. A lot of you on Thursday, love is going to come in. It's going to be a positive day because some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate and your twin flame. Whatever is happening at your work, this is not looking that good because you're being blocked. There's a blockage happening for you at work. Okay, some um, whoever your boss is, whoever um, whoever your boss is, whoever your supervisor or boss is that you have to work together with, they're blocking you. There's a lot of um, there is a lot of uh, conflicts, a lot of stuff that is going on, a lot of conflicts, a lot of um, irritation because uh, of certain things that has happened. But whatever the situation is, um, you have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation, okay? You need to exercise. Whenever you exercise, the key to manifest, manifesting quickly is to have very high energy level. And the uh, easiest way um, to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you will look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Okay, so whatsoever is going on, you need to exercise. So whoever you are, you need to get up and exercise and then that is going, your manifestation of whatever you want is going to come. So, okay, let's go ahead and see what the uh, message from the universe is saying for you guys. You have this energy and this is good. And it says, thinking different thoughts than you have ever thought before is the only part to answer. Healing new um, genes or anything that is glitter. And you know how good you look in the new genes. Okay, so this is what is happening. You have to think differently um, so that you can manifest a new situation in your life whatever is happening for you and um be um you know very very one you know it is a time when certain situation you know just walk away from it you know you need to have understanding to certain things and certain situation in your life okay you liberans wow and what a reading it's a good reading actually so for the liberans who are been working in a positive note doing the things you know um, um, leaving the 3D um, dimension to the 4D dimension, it's going to be positive, it's going to help you, it's going to support you, especially the people in the 5D world and that is working in the 5D world, this is going to support you. If you're still, you know, hanging on to the 3D world, which is a materialistic world, there is a lot of um, materialistic help that is coming in, but be aware because um, there could be a situation that is happening because the loss, so whatever you're, if you receive something and you lose it easily, that means whatever, you know, whatever it was, whatever you did you, that you have received was not healthy. Um, you didn't receive it in a good way and be aware of this. I want to say to each and a person, Thank you for being here. Thank you for the supports and the likes and share. Namaste until next time.